Hello and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Whitney Wright and today I'm going to show you how to move your blog from Blogspot to WordPress. Blogspot is a simple way for beginners to start a blog. Plus, it is a Google product, so it easily integrates with many of its other services. However, with Blogspot, you're more limited and you don't own your blog. Google does. Using something like WordPress to self-host your blog gives you ownership over it and gives you more capabilities, like customizations and plugins. To be clear, we are talking about WordPress.org, not WordPress.com. First, you'll want to choose a domain name. Your domain name is the URL people will type in to get to your blog. There are plenty of places to buy domains, such as Domain.com, Bluehost, GoDaddy, Namecheap, and DreamHost. In this example, we will be using Uniregistry. We recommend getting a free Cloudflare account to have a CDN. This will ensure our website is properly displayed all across the world. We go to Manage here, find the new domain, and then click NS DNS Records. Then visit cloudflare.com to set up a free account. On the home page, paste your URL into here and then click Add a Site. Then select a th free plan. It will automatically detect your name servers. Click Continue. Now we have to replace our name servers and replace them with Cloudflare's. Copy the Cloudflare name server and then return to Unit Registry. Select Set New Name Servers. Paste the Cloudflare name server, then click Add. Do this for both Cloudflare name servers. Then Save Changes. Secondly, you need a host. There are plenty of hosting companies out there like GoDaddy, SiteGround, and Kinsta. We'll be using WP Engine. Once you've set up your WP Engine account, select Add a Site. Type in your domain name and then click Save. Then we need to name the environment. This will take a moment to create, so in the meantime, we can go over to Domains. We'll be looking for our CNAME record, which is down here at the bottom. Copy the CNAME and return to Cloudflare. At the top, select DNS and then click Edit on the website. Then select Delete and delete both records. Now we will add a record. Select CNAME, at, and then in the target section, paste the CNAME from WP Engine. Now click Save. Then add another record for another CNAME. Enter www, and then enter the same target. Now both of these are pointing to WP Engine. Now return to WP Engine. Click Add Domain. Type in your domain, which in this case is easilylearnwp.com. Select Next, then Next, since we already connected our Cloudflare account. Select Next. Domain name DNS propagation can take up to an hour. While we're waiting, we'll finish setting up the site by clicking WP Admin here at the top, and this will take you to your WordPress. Next, you can choose a theme from WordPress. There are plenty of free options to choose from. If we go back and check propagation, we can see that the domains have proxied. Now we want to set it as primary. Go to the ellipsis here on the right and select set as primary. Now we need to run redirect so that the www version of the site also goes to easilylearnwp.com. Click save changes. Before we redirect the WP Engine version of the site, we need to return to WordPress and go to settings, then general. 
Here, we just need to remove the WP Engine from these URLs. The URL should be the same as your primary in WP Engine. Click Save Changes, then log back in. The next thing we want to do is make sure our site is HTTPS. Return to WP Engine and click SSL. WP Engine offers a free certificate, so click Get Certificate. Make sure both domains are checked, along with the secure all URLs, and then select Get SSL Certificates. This can take up to an hour to propagate. In the Settings section here, select Allow HTTPS and HTTP and Add Certificate. Now return to WordPress, go to Settings, and then General. Add the S to the HTTP part of the URLs here. Save Changes. You will need to log back in. After that, it is time to export your Blogspot and import it into WordPress. Go to your blogger.com account and select from the drop-down menu Settings. Scroll down to Manage Blog and select Backup Content. Download your blog. This will save it as an XML file on your computer. Now go to WordPress. Under Tools, select Import. There is a selection at the top of the page specifically for Blogger. Click Install Now, then Run Importer. A pop-up will appear that says Import Blogger. You will select the XML file you downloaded from Blogspot. It will have you import an author, which is where you can enter your name. Click Submit. WordPress will now import all of your content from Blogspot. Here, we can see that the post I had on Blogspot has been transferred as a post into WordPress. And that's it for this episode of Ezoic Explains. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe to this playlist. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook at ezoic.com and ezoic.com slash blog. This has been another episode of Ezoic Explains.